What is up my body weight warriors? Welcome back to another video, another day of eating. Starting the day off with the usual morning smoothie. However, it's not actually, it's not even remotely starting the day off. It's currently like one o'clock. Um, uh, I've just been busy. You know it's bad when you didn't even have to have time for a coffee this morning. However, I finally got around to eating some food. I did this morning put some reishi mushroom extract in this one. And I also get the reishi mushroom extract is super bitter, like really, really, really bitter. So they kind of taste a bit weird. On a side note, how do you like to have your smoothies? Do you like them relatively well blended and smooth or do you like them thick and chunky and basically you're gonna need a spoon to eat them? Because I personally love them to be super thick, super chunky. There's that great saying which goes, I think, chew your liquids and drink your solids in terms of food. So the idea that if you have drinkable liquids, you should take the time to let your saliva actually do the, some of the digestion. And if you're eating solid food, you should also take the time to actually chew your food properly just to help with digestion. I want to chat to you today about choices and this isn't specifically aimed at responding to any comments or anything in general but this is more for me a way to explain about this series this day of eating series in general i've been quite careful throughout this day of eating series to not make it about telling people what to do but rather just sharing with you the choices that i'm currently making about doing what i think is best for me i'm not saying i'm right i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm just sharing with you honestly openly what i am currently doing on a day-to-day -day basis to give you a little bit of insight and maybe an invitation to try something different and that is because when it comes to choices there are three choices that you can make the first is an optimal choice this means it's gonna be a choice that's gonna lead to the best outcome for you. That might be psychological, physiological, spiritually, whatever it is, making a choice that ends up being optimal. The second option is a sub-optimal choice. And this is basically something that maybe goes against your goals, your dreams, maybe isn't the best choice that you could have made at that time. And the last one is making no choice, which results in basically nothing changing. Although there are these three options when it comes to choices, there's only really one of these choices that is a mistake to make, and that is making no decision, no choice. Because when we do nothing, we learn nothing as well. If we make a bad decision, then we can at least experience what it's like to make a bad decision, and we can learn from that experience. And then if, it, if we're ready and we're wanting to change, we're wanting to move in the right direction, we can use that experience and use the information that we've learned to move in the right direction. The worst choice we can do is to not make a choice, not make a decision, not change anything, because in that way, we don't work towards our goals and we also don't learn a thing that could help us achieve our goals. I feel like this is kind of reiterating the thing I talked about, becoming your own guru and learning from your own experiences in a previous vlog, but that's really what this whole series is about, it's just sharing my experience with you and hopefully you can learn something from it, whether it's that you don't wanna do it, or whether you wanna try it out, whatever it is, I hope you're enjoying it. With this coffee, I am also having some 85% dark chocolate because it's just a fantastic combination and I've still got some work to do. Roasted vegetables are done. Just some courgette, potato, leek, and garlic in there. I'm gonna have that now, but it's also gonna be three portions that's gonna do the next few days. Before I have that, as today is a rest day, I'm gonna do basically a short FRC routine. So just working through full range of motion for my shoulders and my hips, just to get the blood flowing and do something movement-wise today. So there is a very late lunch. We've got those roasted vegetables, then there's some smoked mackerel, some raw Swiss cheese, some olives, and a fried egg on top because that yolky goodness just makes for a nice 
source for everything else. You may notice that this meal has a fair amount of carbohydrates in them, and that is because over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed I've been pretty low on calories, and I noticed that science in my body myself when it comes to recovery and performance, etc. Because I only count calories one or two days a week, usually for these videos, on those other days, I generally go by how I feel, and because the food I eat is relatively whole food, it's pretty satiating, I don't always eat enough, and especially of carbohydrates. I would say I'm actually probably better on the videos that I record simply because I am tracking than on the day-to-day -day in between. So what I've done is basically just started adding like 50 to 80 grams of carbohydrates in at lunchtime. <laughs> lunchtime, it's like four o'clock. Um, it was just like a helping hand to boost those calories up and not have to cram so much in in that sort of final evening meal. As today is a day of eating, a food vlog, I always do a recipe to share with you so you can try something at home, give it a go. Today is no different and I have an absolute treat for you. I actually made it yesterday for my girlfriend and it was just really good so I thought I would make it again tonight. I'm eating it twice in a row but I just wanted to share it with you as well and that is a pan fried sea bass with fennel rice and a pomegranate parsley lemon thing on top. It sounds complicated, it's actually really simple, good recipe, tastes amazing, nice and fresh, fishy, it's just delicious. As always guys, if you want the full recipe, it was linked in the description down below, but I'm obviously about to go make it, so I'll put a highlight montage of that on the screen as well, but I do need to go up to the shop just to grab the secret ingredient. That was dinner. That was a pretty awesome dinner. Actually, a very simple meal to cook and really essentially it's just rice and then some pan fried fish. But then when you add a little bit of fennel, pomegranate seeds, parsley, lemon, like it adds so much flavor to such a simple meal. Like it literally takes five minutes more effort to get something that tastes so much better. Again, if you want the full link to that recipe or the full recipe is in the description down below. So go check it out. But that is basically it for the day of eating. I'm now drinking some peppermint and licorice herbal tea, which by the way is the greatest herbal tea. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Tastes amazing. Definitely can help with sweet cravings as well because it's quite a naturally sweet tea. Either way, that is it for the day of eating. Pretty high on the carbs in comparison to usual, so I'm trying to bump those up a bit. But again, not enough calories. I just, I don't know, didn't end up eating until like one o'clock today and blah, blah, blah. So things are a bit busy sorting out stuff before Christmas. However, after Christmas 2018, I am looking forward to getting back and smashing it. I've got many, many goals that I didn't take off this year due to injury that I am determined to smash next year. And I'll be sharing that with you in future vlogs. But that's been it for this week, guys. If you have any comments about today's video, if you wanna join the conversation, leave a comment down below where you're down there, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Why not subscribe? New videos every single week, movement, mobility, bodyweight training, etc. But that's been it for this week, guys. Have a strong and healthy week. Peace.